Welcome to a new season of Best Tech on Ghana Web TV. This is actually a flagship program of the business team that brings you compelling interviews as well as headlines that made, as well as business headlines of the week. My name is Desmond Frimpon. To begin with, business in the lifestyle world can be somewhat very lucrative, and this is evident in an interview my colleague Ernestina Sewa Asante had with the CEO of Irabax. Aside from tablecloth and skirts, did you know that a well-woven bag can be made out of a t-shirt yarn? Well, today on Bistech, we'll be speaking to Abrofi, who is into the production of a well-classy side bags made out of a yarn. Let's find out. Hello, Abrofi, and welcome to Bistech. Thank you so much for having me on your platform. Can you tell us more about a rubber bags GH? Okay, a rubber bags GH is a handmade bag brand made from sustainable items like wood, t shirt yarn, plastic, and what have you. Why the name a rubber bag? Well, a rubber means lady in fancy. And when I started off, I started off as Golden Tag Couture, but the name was too long. When someone meets me and I'm like, I make these bags, go check them out on Instagram, Golden Tag Couture. The person will go home, call me, what's it then? So I have to change it to a shorter name that is more Afrocentric and then it's more Ghanaian so that you should the bags go overseas and someone sees it, the person will know, oh, it's from Ghana, it's Ghana made. That's why I chose the name Iraba. So tell us how you started. Well, if I'm being honest, I started because beads became too much in vogue. I used to do beads, bead bags, purses, clutches, and I noticed everybody was doing it. And sometimes you might sit down, be creative enough, bring out a new shape or color. You post it and someone will take it. So I said I wanted to do something that wasn't too common here in our part of the world. So I went on YouTube. So let's say Google is my best friend. I decided to, I saw one of these bags um, on Google and then I continued searching the materials used in making them, videos on how to make them on YouTube and I took it from there. Okay. So if I get you right, you didn't go for any special training, you okay. learned everything on YouTube? Yes, 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 exactly. Oh, okay. So how many days or hours does it take to produce just a bag? Normally, it takes me three hours to finish a whole bag. And do you work based on orders or you just, based on your creative idea, you just make the product? Most of the time, it's from custom orders. But then on days we have sales or pop-up sales, we make it from our own creative ideas and then post and then get purchases. Okay. So... Is this your full-time job or part-time? It's actually my part-time. I'm a soldier. I'm in the army. Wow. So then what informed your decision to venture into this business? I've always loved making stuff with my hands since I was a kid. I've done so many things from making bead bags to caps and what have you. So when, before joining the army, I was making them. And then I found this as a passionate venture for myself. So when I went for training, I came back, I decided to still continue with it. So how do you combine your military job and this? Well, it's not easy. But then, as the saying goes, Dango is looking for money. Yeah. So you also have to look for money. And so on days I'm off or I have a pass, I try my best to work on all accumulated orders so that I can be able to satisfy my customers. Okay. You've been saying I, I, I. Is it that you work alone or you have other teammates who help you? Currently, I work alone. Okay. Yes, please. 
and like you said, you work during your off days. Um, so, so far, how has markets been like? Markets has been great. Actually, in March, we will turn to mm. two years of in doing the business. So, market has been great. The, the customers have been able to accept us and accept the uniqueness of our items. Mm. So, they've accepted it and it's been great so far. Oh, okay. So, how did you penetrate it into the market? It wasn't easy. But then I started with Instagram, taking really nice pictures and then taking advantage of their adverts, using their adverts and then reaching a couple of people who are actually not following me. Mm -hmm. It helped a lot. Oh, okay. So aside Instagram, what other means of social media do you use? I'm onto Facebook and Twitter as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. So how much does a finished product cost? It depends on the materials used. Okay. For the wood items, getting the sourcing the raw materials for wood is quite expensive. So it goes for 200 CD mm -hmm. for a finished product of a wood bag. Okay. And then the, the other shapes and then materials are good. So let's say the price ranges from 130 CD to 200 CDs. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. But isn't it, isn't it too expensive or it's on a low for you? I wouldn't say it's on the low, but considering the uniqueness and then the quality of the items used, one would buy from its scratch to its packaging and realize that it's worth more than the price itself. Okay. Yes, please. All right. So um, who are your target market then? Because it's not everyone that can afford the 200 cities. So yes. if you can tell us who your target market is. I wouldn't say... It's really good to have a target market, but then sometimes you wouldn't even know if you concentrate only on your target market, there might be someone outside your target market that would actually love to have your bag. So I would say I, I will appeal to anyone who sees the beauty of the bag and wants, so I wouldn't say I have a target audience, no. Anyone who sees the beauty of the bag and it appeals to him or her would like to get it. So, um, can you tell us what goes into the production of this well-woven yarn bag? Yes, please. So, um, it takes a lot of work, especially attention to detail when it comes to the fixing of the zip and then the chain that a person uses across his or her body. So, if you are not concentrated in making the bags, you end up making mistakes. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of attention and creativity to make one bag. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, so what are some of the equipment you use in making the bag? Well, so I have my crocheting pins. Mm -hmm. They come in meters. We have 50 millimeters. They come in millimeters, sorry. You have 50 millimeters, 0 0.5, 0 0.7, and what have you. Um, the thickness and lightness of the t-shirt yarn will determine which pin you use. I also use metallic rings and chains and hooks as well. I have um, a thread and needle in, in making the bags as well and a zip so that you can get all your items in the bag and close it so it doesn't fall out. Yes, okay. please. Alright, so um, checking out on your Instagram page, I noticed aside the wooden one, there is a transparent yes. kind of bag too. If you can tell us more about it. Yeah, so the transparent bags are made from acrylic sheets. Okay. Yes, please. And it comes in different types. We have the tinted black, the clear, okay. we have the tinted yellow and the tinted red. And it comes in different shapes because, like I said, my items are to appeal to anybody anybody that sees the beauty of the bag so someone might want a circle bag someone wants square someone wants semicircle or oval depending on the person's taste so with a plastic or let me say acrylic sheet bags that is what it is made of acrylic sheet that comes in clear and what have you All right. and how much does that cost that is 180 cd please oh, okay so if i want a plain bag or you don't make plain bags we do please the, ac the acrylic sheets mm. they come in the clear shape where when you put your items in you can see through you can see the items yes please. Mm. 
Okay. So if people want to learn, how do they get in touch? Or are you ready to train people? Currently, no. In the sense that I have to juggle work and then making the bags. And I have not yet f um, stabilized myself enough. Yeah. So I might not have time for anyone who will be willing to learn. Mm. So currently, I'm not teaching. Okay. So um, combining work and this together, I know there's been some challenges, if you'd want to share with us. There's been a lot of challenges. Challenges in getting people to assist me, mm. as in ha having to teach someone and then the person being around whenever I need help, getting raw materials, sourcing them from their various places, hasn't been easy for me. Because um, delivery service, courier services take a toll on me in terms of their prices. Anytime they have to pick some, because most of my suppliers are not centered in one place. Mm. So anytime they have to pick maybe wood from um, my supplier, I would have to pay. Mm. Um, plastic from my supply, yarn from my supplier. So it's taking a toll. That's one major challenge I'm facing right now. Getting someone to assist me whilst I concentrate on work more. So I stabilize myself. Yes. Oh, okay. So aside some challenges, I'm sure you've had glorious days too in this line of work. If you can still share with us. I actually make happy little dances whenever I get purchases from Famous people like Gloria Safo, Amakia Bebrese, wow. Denta, yes, and I am Nana Mama Brown. I get really happy when they send me messages or I send messages across to them and tell them I have this unique item. I would like to give them to you or I'd like you to purchase one or two to, show to showcase to your followers so that I can get seen or noticed. I get really happy. So those are some of my wins, let's say. Um, Gwen of Hair Center, she got some bags from me and I was so happy when she went on her page and brought each bag out, spoke good about it. It actually brought me to the limelight where people I, were not, I was not following, people who did not know about me came on my page and made purchases. In fact, that particular time, we got sold out quickly than usual. Okay. Yes, please. Okay. So on a normal day, how many bags are you able to sell? On a normal day? Or a week? Wow, that's a tough question. Mm. Because um, people purchase based on their moods. Mm. So let's say for now that we have Valentine coming, the orders will keep flowing. Okay. But let's say last month, January, times were tough. So I would maybe deliver five, uh, um, five bags a day, or in a week, 25. Okay. At most, 40. Yes, please. Okay. So back to the celebs giving you a touch of um, publicity so far how has it been like it's been good because if i look back at where i started from and how my materials were and how i have improved because my hands are always on the job i feel accomplished a bit though there are so many goals i have set for the business the fact that People recognize me and give me great feedback that what I'm doing is good. It keeps pushing me. Powers and principalities. There's so much fire inside me. Tragedy struck when part of the largest hillside at the kosher rubbish dump collapsed. of production well since some of the materials are not made by or let's say all the materials are not made by myself from scratch say the wood I would have to go to the carpenter give him my sizes and then he charges me for the design and everything so one plate of wood like this cost me 33 CD so a pair is 66 
The yarn cost me 60 CDs. Before the other small materials like the chain, the packaging, the tag by the tassel, and what oh, okay. have you, yeah. So how much, how much is the tag on the tassel? Well, it's three CD, but then she makes a minimum of 500 pieces. She doesn't do less. So I have to order 500 pieces at a go and pay. Yes. Is it the same person who does the designing? For this particular, yes. But then with my logo, someone else did it. And with each design on each plate, we have it from a particular person. So the carpenter does this design. No, the designer does this design, takes it to the carpenter, and the carpenter etches it on the wood and cuts out the holes by it. So it means you'd have to pay that yes. designer to Yes, I paid the designer for this. How much? Um, 250 CD for this design with the other um, shapes with different designs so I paid for each design each shape and then each measurement so each shape cost um, 33 CD for, this for, one. for just one no each shape okay. for just one so I will need a pair for a bag so for the two will be 66 CD okay. All right. and then the Pins, the crochet it thing. comes in a set. Currently, I'm even waiting for delivery for a set of new pins I would like to use. That's about 80 CD. Delivery 20, that's 100 CD. Yes. Okay. So, aside the yarn, the pins, what other equipment do you work with? Mostly my hands. Yes. When I make the, um, the bags, I would have to use my own hands, fix the zip because there's no machine. It has to go in and out manually. So that you can know that the zip is attached to hard enough to the t-shirt yarn so that opening and closing doesn't become too difficult for the person or after the person uses it for a couple of years it doesn't get off so what's the estimated lifespan of the bag oh i have people who have been using it since i started and i keep asking them how is your bag how is it faring how is the zip and they i guess positive responses only so you can you can use it for because the wood is very strong so you can use it for as long as you want, provided the color doesn't, you don't feel like I'm tired of this color or something. Yeah, you can keep using your bag for years upon years because it's very durable. The wood is very, very durable. So how different is your bag from the others on the market? The difference is its durability and the love with which the bags are actually made, the creativity. When you get to my page, you notice that I mix different colors of the yarn. Sometimes I don't make a whole bag from just one color. I mix the printed yarn with another one to make it unique. So that was, that's what makes my bag stand out. The durability, the uniqueness, and the creativity. So what's your advice to young entrepreneurs who are trying to make something out of nothing? What I would say to a young entrepreneur watching me right now is that do not give up because it's not easy. I started and I gave up midway in the sense that whenever I tried to put the bag together, it kept caving in. And I was asking myself, what am I not doing right? What is wrong? Should I stop and go back to my beat? But then with supportive family and words of encouragement from my friends, I kept pushing. So what I'll tell a young entrepreneur now is it's not easy. The road is rough. But when you keep pushing, you'd get there. Now let's come back to the journey. You were saying that it, it wasn't easy. So what kept you to this feat? I, I would say I'm a daydreamer. So I kept the dreams of me being seen in the near future in my mind. And it kept pushing me. That inspiration that someone might notice me someday. Someone might wear my bag, take a picture and I will blow. So I kept pushing myself that that's what I want to do. So let me keep doing it. And so whenever I find out I've made a mistake, I didn't do something right, I go back to the drawing board, undo the whole bag, do it again, and then I got it right. Okay. So has there been a time where a customer got a bag and then didn't really appreciate the work you've done? Yes, please. There was once a time a lady ordered for a couple of bags, three. And then I showed, you know, the issue with pictures and colors. So I showed her some pictures she accepted and she was like, she would pay for it. Mostly I do payments on payments before delivery. 
so, um so she ordered and she was like no she wants to pay when the items are delivered to her the items got to her and she said they are not the colors she wanted so she would take just one and then leave the two out so that was an instant i was really bummed when i found out something like that but i apologized and then took the remaining bags and then sold them to other people oh, okay so what do you have to tell people who are not making use of no let me say proper use in quotes of their social media and are just posting pictures of themselves and having fun elsewhere when they can make business out of it i'll only say this to the creative ones okay. or the ones who want to push and be extraordinary they should keep searching because google has everything you might say, oh, when I search for this, it wouldn't come. Or when I, when I keep typing this thing, it won't come, it won't show up for me to see, but you'll be surprised. One link will lead you to another. So it's best to use your airtime, your data, to research on something that you are passionate about. Yes, it's mostly about something you are passionate about that you know when you work around it, it will, give, it will give you money. That's how, yes. Okay. So do you agree with people who say that you don't have to look out for just one source of income. You have to get multiple sources of income to help you be successful in life. Certainly, certainly, a hundred percent. I agree with such people who have that mentality that you would have to have different streams of income. Because at some point, what if your only source of income fails you? So it's best to have different sources of income that would help to support you when times are hard. Thank you. From Iraba bags to you, we hope you like it. Oh my god, this is beautiful. See the packaging. Oh my god, can you help me unravel it? Wow. Isn't this beautiful? Okay, so. Hi. Thank you so very much, Rubber Bags, for this beautiful bag of mine. And as you can see here, all these bags lined up are ready to be delivered to customers. Her story is indeed inspiring. And this tells you that if you want to become more successful in life, you need to have a second source of income so that you stay in business and then attain higher fees. Ernestina Sawa Asante, reporting for Bistec on Ghana World TV. that we just watched she's actually a military woman and also making use of her hands weaving bags away from that we're going straight to our tech bit segment where tech enthusiast beverly london is standing by with some pretty cool tools that can help us in our daily activities <laughs> I'm excited about today's episode and then miniaji well i'm sure you've seen it on your phone you're like ah, i didn't cry and i'm here and then anytime i'm swiping something and this thing will pop up what, what is this i'm going to teach you how to use it. it's called the edge panel once again i use samsung a51 okay So I'm going to teach you how to use the edge panels to ensure that your home screen is not scattered with a lot of apps, you may maximize its potential. You better use it carefully and then um, grab your phones. Give me a second. Let's go. Right. So where do we find the edge panel? Mine is found where my volume key is. Okay. So if I swipe this way, I find my edge panel. But if I come to my power key and swipe, it's not going to work because that's not where it is. If I come down, it's not going to work. So only as the volume key. Now let's explore the edge panel. If I swipe this way, I see this. I'm confused. I see this. Okay. 
I, let's explore the other um, panels given to you. So we come to settings, right? Okay, so apps, tools. I don't want this. I tap it off. Um, I want people to help me, you know, contact people easily or have access to them easily. Then my task. Then, yeah, I think I would maintain these and do away with this. So I've selected what I want on my panel, on my right-hand side. So I swap this way. They are here. I swipe. I swipe. Okay, great. I swipe. I have these. So this is why I put my apps. So to add apps that I um, easily or frequently use, I have to click this and then select the apps that I want to use, right? So, of course, YouTube, WhatsApp, and maybe this app, which I use to edit my videos sometimes. Then, I'm done with this. I come again, you see we selected for people, and so this place allows me to put the people or select people I easily contact. So my bestie, my boo bae, my dear, my home, my love, I select these things, these people, sorry. Then I add. So here they are. So anytime I want to call boo bae, I don't have to come here, search for his contact. All I have to do is just swipe my panel, click on them, and then call, right? So um, that is it. So I swipe again. I come to where my tags are, my, my calendar, my alarm, you know, my tips for the day. I come here easily and I get access to it. Then I come to my apps, my WhatsApp, my YouTube, check my YouTube subscriptions. If you are subscribing or if you're watching my videos, I check it and then check my WhatsApp messages as well. I hope that was useful to you. <laughs>
of Cape Coast says Ghana needs to have a relook at its laws on FDIs. Now, according to the Economist, um, Ghana offers a competitive incentive to investors, such as tax holidays, which could run for years. Canton said the investment climate in Ghana is welcoming to foreign companies, hence the need for laws to be created to provide a win-win situation. In, in Ghana, to encourage more people to come, we have given five years tax holidays and all those things. And at the end of the day, they are able to repatriate their profit back. And this has negative consequences on the economy. So I think we should change our foreign investment laws where we give uh, investors options. If you want a tax holiday, it means you can't repatriate any of your profits out of the country, at least within the, uh, within the five years of the tax holiday. But if you don't want a tax holiday, then you can repatriate your profit. That is a win-win situation. We get our taxes and we, we don't lose money, though the repatriation has not been the best. But at least it's a win-win situation for both the investor and the country. COVID-19 is still fast spreading um, across the globe and airlines that allow passengers who have traveled not to comply various rules set by the country will be fined up to $3,500 per passenger. That's according to Information Minister Designate Kojo Oponkroma. This is something that he said during a press conference in Accra on Tuesday, February 9th. The decision forms part of measures to ensure strict adherence to the COVID-19 protocols by airlines as the cases of new variants increase in other countries. Airlines who board passengers without PCR results or who transport or disembark passengers with positive PCR test results into Accra will be fined $3,500 per passenger. Ghanaian and ECOWA citizens now, effective, I think, um, 8th of February, 6 p.m., uh, UTC, pay $50. All other passengers will continue to pay the $150, and this must be paid before embarkation. And if that doesn't take place, the airline will be sanctioned uh, for it. So come Sunday, it's Val's Day, and in Ghana, as observed, chocolate becomes very, more like an essential commodity on that particular day. And following the official launch of the Ghana Chocolate Week, some Ghanaian businesses have taken advantage of the opportunity to showcase their products made of Ghana's number one commodity, cocoa. Among other companies who, have their, who had their goods on display were niche chocolate, niche cocoa, Golden Pots, Dr. Johnny Ventures, Takai of Kihok Distilleries, among others. Um, Ghana Web Business was there and spoke to a couple of vendors, and this is what they had to say. Look at the table with that intricate designs, with handmade soaps and chocolates with a heart, chocolates as a gateway, chocolates, lovely chocolate soaps. We've done lovely um, heart shaped soaps, and these soaps make your skin small. Oxid, um, moisturizes uh, because it's rich in vitamin A, D, E, and all the phenols that you can get in cocoa butter and in chocolate. It's all about our instant chocolate drink, which has all the um, nutrition that uh, cocoa comes with because it is purely and then it's organic. So in our times of this, uh, we, we not being a normal times, the best thing is to look at things that will give you boost your immune system. So cocoa from Golden Pot, from Golden Pot, uh, it's one of the best products you can rely on. So this is a product, uh, it's called Takai Liqueur from Gihok Distilleries, producers of Herbal Freak, Mandingo and Castle Bridge. It's actually a cocoa and coffee based product. It's just this Val's Day we decided that it's a chocolate, since it's a chocolate month, we decided to bring this on board, partner with the Ghana Cocoa Company and then, so this is what we are bringing, this one is actually on board already. Um, that's it for this week's edition of Best Take on Ghana Web TV. You can log on to www.ghanaweb.com for more news. On social media, we are very interactive on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Our handle is the Ghana Web. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Ghana Web TV, for more of our programs. My name is Desmond Frimpon. Do have 
a pleasant weekend.